You know, folks, I use everything that happens in my life in order to preach another message, okay? So, women, for example, in 1910, used to all wear full-length dresses, modest as can be, down to foot, very elegant, very respectful, complete with hats, everyone. I encourage you to watch videos on YouTube of San Francisco in 1910 and New York in 1910. All the women are dressed modestly in full length dresses, very beautiful, elegant, respectful, dignified, modest, and you know, complete with hats. <sighs> you know, and most people, many people, were Christian back then, okay? Bonafide believers, respect for the church, respect for God's holy word, uh, respect for preachers, and total reverence uh, for our Lord Jesus Christ and the Bible which commands women to dress, to dress modestly. I read that in 1 Timothy, and that's for everyone's blessing, joy, and happiness. Okay, so now it's gross. I'm like, every woman is wearing all this tight stuff, and like, like ladies, it's not healthy. It's not blessed by God, and it's it's not going to result in a good day for you. That's what you have to know. Like, the truth is, people need to know what God says in His Word and what God likes, and they need to understand that their day today and every day is affected by what they choose and whether or not it pleases God. Okay, so like when girls put on these skin tight bottoms you know, and come to work, like at Save On Foods or any job, and I'm like, you shouldn't do that. Like, you shouldn't dress that way if you want to be blessed by God, which you do. Okay, so you have to read the Bible. You have to know what God, what God wants. You know, if you draw, talk to him in prayer, he will tell you exactly what to do. Like, ask him to fill you with his Holy Spirit. You'll get holy instincts for what to wear every day. Okay? And I guarantee you it will be, um, you know, modest, respectful, you know, beautiful. But it will be modest. Like, I'm just like, this is gross. And I can't believe no one is talking about this being gross because it's what the Bible talks about. And a girl is either making a choice for blessing or cursing depending on how she what she wears in public, you know, especially the workforce and like the marketplace where it's like I mean if you're taking care of the body in like the park or getting life-giving sun give, given giving sunshine or something and you need to have more skin showing just because you want to get the sun in the park. I mean, that's one thing. But in the public marketplace, I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, just terrible. I encourage you to watch YouTube videos of San Francisco and New York in 1910. All the women are wearing full length, full length dresses as modest as can be. Then read the Holy Bible, First Timothy, okay, about how women are supposed to dress with modesty. Um, and then I encourage you to watch David Heavener's video on YouTube, Bible Leaking Gallons of Oil. Is this a sign of the end time? So that you, you know, see a modern sign of God's validation that the Bible is his book that is to be taken seriously just like and then above all stop watching all these stupid non-christian films oh my gosh just the satanic dress and all of the wicked lust is just disgusting read your bible instead you'll actually get nourished drink your cocoa powder feel good on the inside you know dress modestly and god will actually bless you I just, I've said this, I'm like, it's, it's unbelievable. You just have to obey the Bible. Dress modestly like women did back in 1910. 
you'll actually be blessed. You'll actually feel comfortable all day long. Um, I think I've said enough. I'm like, folks, uh, now is the time for the whole world to, you know, have the greatest revival of all time. It's it's called holiness, okay? Ideally, wear, women wearing like white full-length dresses, like as if it was their wedding day. I'm not even joking. Like it's just unbelievable. I, I've you talk about the antithesis of what a girl's proper day is supposed to be like full length white dress beautiful and respectful and the sign of inward holiness white now you got women wearing black tights and all black it's just the sign of distance from God pray right now and ask Jesus Christ into your heart that's how you get saved that's how you get filled with God and then read every word of the Bible and let God speak to you and take it seriously and, tar- and start taking steps to obey what it says so that your life can get happier and happier by the day. I guarantee you, it's like women are supposed to wear white, full-length, modest dresses every day or something like that. Not black tights. Trust me. Everyone in heaven is wearing all white. <laughs> and it's like... Whoa! You've got to do things that please God. You've got to do things that please God today. If your job does not allow you to wear all white, quit the stupid job. Even worse, if it plays non-Christian music in the air all day, quit the stupid job. You have God's permission to do so and blessing. Man! Wear an all-white dress today. Be the glory of God on planet Earth. Dress modestly and dress in all-white as a sign of total purity and joy in Jesus' name. Man, I'm just so tired of seeing just Satan's darkness just, you know, taking over people when they have the power in Jesus' name to live way more beautifully, way more blessedly, and way more gloriously. Life is not a joke. Jesus is not a joke. The Bible is not a joke. What you choose today is not a joke. It's between you and God. Stop looking around at other people, including me, and start looking at the Holy Bible, what Jesus says, talk to God yourself in prayer, and find out from Him. You'll find out the things that I'm saying are true, but... Turn to God in your private prayer closet. Get to know his personal voice, daughter. He will tell you exactly what to wear every day. He will tell you exactly what is righteous. He'll tell you to quit a dumb job if it's not respectful for you properly. You're entitled to dress like heaven every single day. In gorgeous, all white. Beautiful and modest at the same time. Hear from your heavenly father personally in private prayer. You'll hear the similar things to what I'm saying and exit any stupid scene that disrespects you in any way, including a dumb building or job that plays secular music in your head or commands you to wear a mask. Man, draw near to God. Study the saintly women of old. People like Catherine Kuhlman. My goodness. Mother Teresa. Oh, like draw near to God in your private prayer closet. You'll hear the voice of your father. He will start setting you free from so many lies and peer pressures and just satanic lies of Hollywood and non-Christians and all this stuff that just belittles women's self-esteem and oh, too much focus on image. I'm just like, I just, I just want to see all the girls of the world set free. I'm like, you got to be happy in Jesus. You got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. You got to know how to dress modestly and beautifully in all white, in all holiness, as if it was your wedding day. Uh, You're entitled by God to never go near secular music or any job. Walk off of it. Claim your self esteem and your godlike dignity in Jesus' name. Wear all white to the glory of God. Everyone in heaven is wearing all white. Like. Rebuke the devil in Jesus' name. Cast fear away from you in Jesus' name. 
pull out the name of Jesus and speak it often. That's what delivers you from Satan. And every fear there is, man, I just, I want to see women set free like crazy. They got to be beautiful daughters of God that know how to dress and how to function and how to think and worship. And man, just Lord God, I pray that you pull so many people out of darkness in Jesus' name. Man, it's like seek the Bible, child. <sighs> Spend time in prayer lis listening to God personally. He'll tell you exactly what to do.